hello friends welcome back this is Amit from magnet and today we are going to create this awesome car driving scene inside unreal engine 5 so first take a look what we are going to create today So if you are new to this channel, I recommend you to check my videos and if you find those videos useful, please do subscribe this channel and turn the notification on. And here is the name for those people who has already joined me as a member. So if you really want to support me, you can also join me as a member. So let's get started. Okay, so before we begin, let's collect the assets that we used for this project. So for this, go to the Epic Games and then go to the Marketplace and then we use some free assets. So go to the free and click on this permanently free collections and then you will see this project that is a vehicle variety pack volume 2 just click and you have to make a project by using these assets so just click on here that is the create project and then you specify the path where you want to save your project and just create okay so let's open the project okay so here is the project and just open it and you will see this project file so just double click on this First we go to this content drawer here and if you go to the content you will see the vehicle variety pack okay so that double click on this and you will see in the blueprint folder there are four types of vehicles so we are going to use this sedan vehicle just double click on this and just click and drag and drop to your window here okay so here is the vehicle that we are going to use so let's see how we can play with this vehicle or how we can drive this vehicle okay so it is all ready this is the chaos vehicle so first we go to these three dots here and then we select this select viewport okay so here are we it's a gameplay mode but if we use the WASD key to play this you can see that we just move around the car but not able to drive this car okay so we have to make this car as drivable so i escape from this game mode here just press escape okay and then we select this vehicle here is the vehicle go to this details panel here and the search bar we search auto and you will see this option that is under the pawn the auto pauses player okay and in default it's set to disabled we just drop down the list and select this player zero okay and now if you begin the play button here and now you can drive your car okay just like this okay so we can able to drive our cars so let's make some roadway and drive the car there okay so for this i'm going to use another free content for ue5 so let's open the marketplace again and then go to the marketplace here then go to the ue5 go to the environment and then we're going to use a free assets so just click on this free button here then go little down here and you will see this one that is the automotive winter scene just click and then you will prompt to add to your project so just click on here and select the project that you are working on okay so here is the project that we are working on right now so just click and click on this button that is the add to project so I have already added this project into my project but I want to uh, replace this for now so just click on this yes and it will take little time according to your internet speed okay so we have successfully added this content into our project so I close this or minimize it and then we go to this content drawer go to the content and you will see that the automotive winter scene folder here okay so just double click on this and you will see so many folders here but we just going to this map folder and you will see this ice road level okay so just double click on this and you will see this window but we don't save it okay because i have already load this 
level into my scene so it will take less time but in your case maybe it will take times to compile all the shaders okay so as you can see this is a very nice project and you can see that everything is set up so we don't need to make any change here but if you want you can do make change here so maybe you can go to this cliff and if you want to move it you can do it but uh, in this tutorial we're going to focus on that how you can drive your car into this roadway okay so let's see where we want to begin our car driving so maybe this point will be right for our driving start of point okay but as you can see that uh, the lighting is not good for me because there is no sun and uh, you can see that it not create any nice shadow to our scene so maybe we can change or replace the sky for this scene okay so in order to change the sky or the lighting you can see there is the folder called lighting and under this folder we have all the lights that used for this scene okay so we can select all these as well as this hdri backdrop and just delete this okay just like this and also we can delete this lighting folder and then we also go to these cameras and you can see there are so many camera already present here uh, but we uh, will make our own cameras so we can also select all those cameras here and we can delete this okay and also the snowfall particle system we can also delete this but if you want you can uh, leave it as you want but i have to delete this okay and then we go down here and here you can see that this post process volume and you can also delete this and we also select this one that is the global parameter controller we also delete this okay so we have nothing but we have the fog also so we go to the search bar and search for the fog okay and under the atmosphere you will see that's the exponential height fog so we also delete this okay so we have completely removed all the lights and the fox that is uh, make the environment so we're going to recreate our environment according to our need okay so for this we go into windows and then we go to this environment light mixer just click and it is the very easiest way uh, to make the lighting for ue5 so just create the skylight and create the atmospheric light and then create the volumetric cloud and the create height fog okay and when you click on all these options just leave this create atmospheric light one and go down here and you will see the volumetric fog just check this box okay and just close this so now we have our sky and the sun also so in order to change the light position or the sun position just press ctrl and l and hold it and just move your mouse just like this and you will see the sun is here okay but you can see that uh, the skylight color not changing according to the sun movement so we do one thing that we go to the skylight here and disable the search option here and here you will find the real time capture okay just click on it okay now you can see if we move our sun here you can see that the sky color also change with the sun position okay so it's a very easy way to set up your light okay so we set up our scene here so now we're going to put our car here and we're going to drive the car so for this go to this content drawer go to the contents and select the vehicles and then we go to the blueprint go to the sedan or you can choose another one but for this i'm going to use the sedan model and just drag and drop to here okay just like this and now we're going to rotate this car okay so just press e to bring the rotation gizmo here and just rotate it just like this okay so now we're going to drive this car for fun maybe so select the car go to this search option here and type auto 
and make sure that you change the auto pauses player uh, to player zero here and then click on this play button here what the heck you can see that our car is drive so weirdly and we have to fix this issue okay so you can see that everything uh, right here uh, but you can see that our car is not moving properly and you can see that there are so much issue here so we have to fix it so first we escape the game mode here and select our car here and press f to find our car so by the way it's a quick uh, shortcut to find your object so if you lost your object in any time you just select your object here and press f to find your object here okay so now we have some issue here that our spline that is a road is not aligned with the landscape and that is why the car is not moving properly so how we fix this so for this we going to go to the select mode button here and we go to the landscape okay just like this and then we go to this manage button here and you will see under the manage button you will see the spline option here so just click on it okay and when you click on this spline button here you will see that all the splines going green color here and then you will see there is the option called the deform landscape to splines and then we click on this all splines just click here okay so now if we go back to our main mode here and then place the play button here that is the gameplay switch and now you will see that the issue is fixed okay and we can freely play our car here but one thing we have to remember okay i crashed okay sorry for this select the car again press f okay if we go this button here and select the simulate button and you can see that uh, our our tire is not uh, placed over the uh, road it look like is intersect the road okay so how we fix this so we stop this simulation here and we go to this content drawer go to this uh, sedan folder here and go to this sedan configuration and under this you will see the vehicle chaos vehicle blueprints here so we just double click on this so this is the blueprint for the front wheel and you can see there's a wheel radius okay they set it to 31 so let's uh, make this to 42 and just compile this and minimize this and then again go to the blueprint for the rear wheels double click on this and also set it to the wheel radius to 42 okay so this one the 42 and this one 42 as well and compile this and now if we simulate this you can see that our tire are placed over the road and it not look like that it intersect the road okay so maybe in your case the number will be changed that may be 41 or 43 but in my case it is a 42 so feel free to change the numbers according to your scene okay so we stop this simulation right now and again we go to these three dots and go to the selected viewport and now we can able to drive our car and it look really amazing okay so now we can stop driving our car here and we escape from the gaming mode but once you deform your spline to your landscape you will see some issues here that this object look uh, very weird here so you do some work here to change the positions and make it look right just like this okay so it will take a little time to do this uh, but uh, that is the main fun to build your scene according to your need 
okay just like this so i'm not going to do this because you have the idea and you can move your uh, any assets position very easily and if you want you can duplicate any assets just like this press alt and hold the alt key and just change the position gizmos and you can able to duplicate this okay so it's all up to you that how you can uh, design your scene just like this okay so now we going to see that how we can record the gameplay for this car driving and make a sequence to uh, export this video okay so it is very easy to do so how you can do this so first we have to enable a plugin that is called the take recorder so for this go to the edit option then go to this plugins and go to the search option here and you will type take recorder and you will see this take recorder and the take recorder multi-user synchronization just select both of these plugins and when you select both of this plugin you will prompt to the restart your engine so you just restart your engine okay so enable the take recorder we go to this windows go to the cinematics and after you enable the plugin you will see that take recorder button here so just click and you will see this will create a, another section in your ue5 so make a little room here just like this and then you have to add this car as a source material here so select this car go to the source material drop down this list go to this from actor and select this bp sedan chaos in your case it will be anything that you use so in my case it is this bp sedan chaos just click okay select this one and now we going to click on this play button here and then you click on this record button here that is the red button here just click on here and you will get three seconds time and after that you can play your car okay just like this so i am very bad in car driving so maybe you can drive your car so nicely so let's see how i how well i can control my car so this road uh, looks so steady so i can drive my car very easily here okay so i think this is enough for this tutorial and okay i'm going to crash okay somehow i am able to stop this car and i press the escape button okay so once you escape from this game mode you will see here that the recording is complete and it will create a sequence for us so we close this take recorder button here okay and then select our bp vehicle that is the sedan chaos press f so here it is okay so now you can see that there is our car so now we go to this content drawer and go to this content and you will see there are new folder uh, created that names the cinematics okay just double click on this and under this folder you will get this text folder double click and then also double click here and then again you have to double click here once more just double click and inside this you will see that this sequence just double click on here and in this sequence you will get all the key mark that represents this car animation okay so now if you play this you will see that the car is driving here and you will get also this ghost car here so we select this car and just delete this and you will say some warning but just ignore this press yes okay and now you will see that the car is here okay and now you can see that you can change anything here is because this sequence is locked from here so we just click on this lock to unlock this sequence okay so now you can see that all everything is now can be editable so we can collapse this and now we going to put a camera here so for this go to this box go to the cinematics 
and click on this cine camera actor okay here it is our camera make a little room here and then we right click on this cine camera actor here and we click on this button that is the snap object to view just click on here and you will see the camera is also facing the same direction that is our viewport here so we go to this perspective go to this cine camera actor okay so this is our view from our camera and now we going to put our camera into our sequence so we select this camera click and drag and drop to our sequence here just like this and then we go to this camera and just put it on top of this sedan car and now we going to link our camera to the car so our camera can follow the car okay so for this we go to this track button here from this cine camera actor and here you can find this attach switch here and after that you can select the car model here that is the bpc done chaos just select this and you will find two options here that is the vehicle mesh and the spring arm so i am choosing the spring arm here and also you select this spring end point and you can see that your camera is moving in a weird direction so you just have to find your car here so in this case my car is here and you just go to your car position and it is a very long distance so i change my camera speed here and then i go to my car here and then i change the speed back to very less that is the 2 or maybe for now i can change this to 4 go to the car just like this and now if you play this you can see that our camera is following the car and it look really amazing you can see that from the beginning it not following the car it's because that if you go to the cine camera actor just expand this and make a room here so maybe we make a room here and you can see that the attach switch is not from the beginning from our beginning point so we just click and drag and to uh, to set to from the beginning okay and also expand the end point here as well so now you can see that that so anywhere goes our car you can see that the camera is following okay so now you can change the camera position and it's still fixed with the car here okay just like this but what if uh, we want to animate our camera while it stick with the car so you can also do this so for this go to this camera and maybe we go to the beginning here or maybe we can animate the camera when our car moving very steady so we maybe we can use this as a beginning point and also we use this as our end point just like this okay so now we go to the camera go to the very beginning here and make a keyframe to the transform here or make sure that your keyframe is linear so just right click here and select this linear option here and also make the linear option as default keyframe so go to this here and change this to cube auto to linear and also we click on this auto keyframe so just click on here and go to the very end and then we move our camera so maybe here and now if we play this you can see that you can also animate your camera while it stick with the car okay so it is very handy to use okay so now we going to make some camera shake as well so for this we going to make a blueprint for camera shake so we go to this content drawer go to the content that is the main path just right click here go to the blueprint class and then we go to this all classes and inside the search bar we type shake and you will see that the camera shake base just select this select this one and the blueprint is created 
and we name this as shake okay so now we're going to open our blueprint here so this type of window um, may make you feel that it's a very uh, complex process so first time when you open this just close this go to the content drawer again and just open this so it will make a simplified version of this blueprint uh, but i don't know why that uh, why the first time is not opening like this but anyways we can uh, make our scene here so first we go to this root shake pattern go to this drop down and just select this parallel noise camera shake pattern okay and when you use this one you have a another uh, drop down list here so under this drop down list you will get the timing at the bottom just expand this and go to the duration you set it to zero okay and then we go to the rotations maybe we can change this but before we do a change anything here let's see that what effect we get from this so first we compile this blueprint okay now we go to the camera go to this camera component go to the track in you will see the camera shake just select this shake blueprint here okay and then we can expand this shake blueprint around our timeline here and you can see that you will get little bit of camera shake here okay but we're going to change the camera shake pattern to make our own design so we just make it play or keep it playing and then we go to this blueprint that we just opened in here and you can see that once it uh, complete its timeline and the video playing is stopped so we have to make it loopable so under this you will see this option that is the arrow we just click on here so make it loopable and now we play this our uh, play our video here and keep it playing and then go to this rotation amplitude multiplier you just make it two maybe and you will get a nice camera shake as well then we go to the roll and we change this frequency to maybe five and you will see that it make a nice camera movement and also we change the amplitude or maybe we decrease it to maybe 0.5 okay so this is uh, enough for the camera shake or but if you want more camera shake you can change the pitch or yaw or maybe you can change the overall rotation amplitude to maybe 10 and you can get a very weird camera shake but it is too much but if you want you can use this so we can reset this value or maybe change this to 2 okay so once you're happy with your camera shake just compile your blueprint and then we can close this okay so all we done here to animate our camera so now we going to have some decoration to our scene so i put some trees over here and there to make it uh, more nice so you can also do this so for the tree i am using some free content from the epic game marketplace so we go to this epic game marketplace go to the marketplace and then we go to the permanently free free collection okay i make it maximize and let's see that where we get those trees okay so under the third page here you will see this one that is the tempered vegetations just click on here and then you have to add to your project so go to this button and you will see our project that is the vehicle variety pack and just add it to your project so it will take time according to your internet speed okay we have successfully add this content to our project so i minimize this and then we go to this content drawer go to the contents and you can see this folder which content the trees so just double click on this and instead of going the folders inside the folder we can set a filter to find our desired objects so go to this button and make a filter by using this static mesh and you will see all the static mesh over here and then we close our camera perspective here so now here we are and maybe we can make a room here and now we're going to put some trees over here and there 
so in order to put the trees very easily we're going to use the foliage so we go to this mode button here and select this foliage okay and then we go to the content drawer and use some tree models from here so maybe this one this one and maybe this one look nice so we select all of these three tree model just click and drag and drop to here okay and it will prompt to save this so maybe we can save here and save here and save for these three trees okay so here are the three trees so now we going to decrease the density from here that is a paint density and also we decrease the brush size and then also we select all the three trees here and if you move this you will see some options here and under this after you selecting both uh, all the three trees here you can see there is the painting density we can change this to maybe 10 and then go a little down here and you will find another option that is the align to normal and we also disable this one okay and now if we go here and you will just start painting your scene just like this okay and also from this side okay so just paint it according to your scene here just like this okay and also go here and paint this side okay so sometimes you will see that uh, some trees are spawn on the road so you can just delete this by press and hold the shift key and just click over here and you can erase this okay so maybe this one if you want there are so many trees so you can just delete this just like this or maybe we can go a little closer here and we delete this one okay so this is how you can put trees if you want so and also we can put uh, some trees over here as well or uh, maybe delete some okay just like this okay so this is how you can design or you can put other cards if you want so we go out from this foliage mode go to the select mode here and go to the content drawer and under this vehicle variety pack you also get other cards here as well so we uncheck this static mesh option go to the meshes and you can see some cards so you can just put any car over here and there and we can rotate it by using the rotating gizmos and also we can place it where we want so in my case you can see that our scene is lagging it's because that i am recording my uh, screen so that is why it looks some laggy but believe me this project is very fast to render and i don't know why that this scene has so many things but it is very optimized and you can create a nice render in a very short amount of time okay and you can see some of these uh, smoke element here if you don't want this you can just uh, disable this or i can go to this wind and select all this because i don't want uh, how it look here so i just select all of this and just delete this okay so this look amazing now if we go to this perspective and we select our cine camera actor here and we can place or maybe we can expand our sequence window here just like this or now if we play this you can see that you can make a nice scene or maybe we can 
shift our timeline here so we can see more trees here so now you can see that or maybe we can make our camera keyframe here okay so now you can see that you can make a nice scene here or you can go to this camera first you go to this camera and then i disable this search option here and go to this film back we can select this 16 is to 9 dslr and set this lens settings to universal zoom so in that way you can change the camera zoom from here and that is the current focal length you can change the focal length from here and now you can see that wow it makes a very nice scene okay so that is how you can create this and it is very easy to set up and you can see that if you hand animate your car maybe it will take forever to animate your car like this but when we use the take recorder you can see that this process is very easy and you can make a nice animation to your scene so sometimes you'll see it's laggy uh, but it's not because i skin record my scene okay so now the question that if you render this is it render properly so make a test render here so we go to this button here and we have a movie render settings here so first we change our uh, output to maybe png sequence here so select this and maybe we select a folder where we want to save the renders select this and click on this button that is the capture movie okay and maybe we can save selected okay okay so you can see that it's not record our scene why so maybe we can see that our scene is uh, rendered but without our car so we have to change one more settings to make these things work so we close this here is our car okay so first we go to this content drawer and go to this vehicle variety pack then go to the blueprints go to the sedan car that we used and under this sedan blueprint just double click on this to open this blueprint here and here is the blueprint okay so first time when you open this blueprint it looks something like this then at this side you will see that this sedan chaos blueprint and just select under this you can see the mesh here select this mesh then you go to this search option and type physics okay so in default you will see the physics simulation is activated because without the physics simulation you can't play the car in the player viewport but when you render this you have to ignore the simulated physics button here because we already animate this vehicle so if we enable this physics simulation the two things that the physics and the animation will crash together and nothing will happen so it's because we have all the animated keyframes for the car we can ignore the physics simulation when we going to render this okay so we just uncheck this physics simulation and then we compile this okay now we can close this and now if we go to render this scene and now we go again here and everything uh, will be same for this and just capture this movie and again save selected and now you will see that it really render the car with all the animations and also you can see the wheels are moving and everything look nice okay so our project is successfully done here and we can able to render this okay and now i am going to show you some rendering tips here so as you can see that uh, everything uh, look perfect here so we go to our camera and you can see that our car is out of focus so we go to the camera and go to this manual focus distance and we change these settings until we find our car to focus okay so now you will see that our car is focused and 
now we're going to change some rendering settings so we select our camera here and then we go down here under this camera settings and we make some rooms here and under this global illumination you will see the method is set to lumen in default the lumen is nice but sometimes if you change this to screen space you can get a more nice result here okay so the lumens is best but sometimes screen space also make a nice touch to our scene and then also we go to the reflections here and we change the method to screen space if you want but if when you change this to screen space you will get a nice reflection here you can see the difference very clearly if you see here or here if i change this to lumen you can see the reflection is gone but if we change this to screen space you can see the reflection is so amazing okay so if you play this you can see that the reflection is so nice okay so maybe i delete this middle keyframe here okay so now you can see that it really makes a nice result so if i put the end keyframe and go very close to the car here and now if i play this you can see that it's instantly create a nice touch to our scene okay so now we going to change the sun position so i press ctrl and l and if i go here you can see that it creates a nice light position okay and but you can see that the sign in sun intensity is so high so i can also decrease the directional light intensity which represents the sun intensity so i go over here and then i go to this intensity and set it to 10 lux so we change this to maybe 5 lux here okay and also we increase the indirect light intensity little bit more and the volumetric scattering so you will get some god rays here so it really creates a nice result so maybe we can set it to 10 just like this so if we go to this tree zone here you can see that it creates a nice volumetric lights over the trees okay so maybe we can change the sun position okay and also we go to the exponential height fog here and we can increase the fog density so maybe we can make a little room here and we can increase the fog density if you want but if you increase the fog density so high you can lose the details at the horizon so make a balance to here and go to the secondary fog data maybe we increase this little bit more okay so now you can see that it really makes a nice touch to our scene okay so this is all done here and now if you want to make a high quality render here because when you see that if you just render using this uh, standard rendering uh, method here you will see that the mo motion blur is not look right or to the uh, tire here and it's really makes a jittery looking so here is the render that we just make here so if you open any frame here you will see that the motion blur is not uh, that good so you can see that it not uh, look right and the resolution also goes bad so we have to render it in a right manner so how we do this so for this we going to open this movie render queue but you can see that under the cinematics there is no movie render queue here it's because we have to enable the plugin so for this go to the edit go to the plugins and here you can type the movie and you will find this movie render queue just turn this on and also the movie render queue additional render passes turn this on okay and you will prompt to restart your engine so just restart this now 
and you save this okay once you restart your engine you will see this so we have to again open the main project so you go to the content go to this automatic window scene go to the map and just uh, load this level that is the ice road okay here and we also going to open the main sequence so we go to the content go to the cinematics go to the text under this folder again and then we just open this sequence here okay and also we go to the perspective and just click this camera okay just like this and one thing we will also enable that the lens flare so we select the camera and go down here and under this lens you will get this lens flare so just turn this on maybe we can decrease the intensity to maybe 0.5 okay and in that way you will get a nice lens flare as well so wow really creates a nice result here okay so this is all done here and we also get the movie render queue plugin enabled so we go to the movie render queue and then we going to do some settings here so go to the render and this is the sequence that we're going to render so make sure you select this one and then under the settings you will have this unsaved configuration just click on here and first we delete this jpeg sequence because we don't want to render it in the jpeg sequence so we first you go to the settings and first you enable this anti-aliasing and i like to change this sample count to 32 but if you have a nice computer you can also change this to more 64 and also you can change the this sample count to another number but i like to make this one and change this one that is the temporal sample count to 32 and when you make this you have to enable this override anti-aliasing and also you can choose the method so i am using this msaa okay and then again go to the settings go to this camera and i change this to frame close again go to the settings and go to this high resolution and also i override the surface scattering and leave this as 464 sample count and then again go to the settings and i like to export as a exr sequence because it is a 16 bit so i just select this one and then we go to this output and here from you can change the resolution you want but i like to set it to full hd so i use this 1920 by 1080p and then we go to the output directory and you can select the output directory you want just select the folder and then we can change the custom frame rate so i select this one and i change this to 23.976 and just click on this accept button here and then you just one click away that is the render local just click on here and your video will render in high quality okay so this is it and i hope it's a very nice technique to animate your any uh, car and make a nice driving sequence so i hope you really enjoyed this and if you like this video i recommend you to check my other videos and if you like those videos please do subscribe this channel and turn the notification on so this is for today and we will see in my next video so till then take care and bye bye